Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. And today I'll be reading for air signs, which consists of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, so hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. Um, if this is your first time joining me, hey, how you doing? If it's not, hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ding! Make sure you hit that notification bell, all right? So you keep track as to when I'm making new videos. Um, also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me and take a look into my beautiful store, all that information will be in the description box below. All right, so let's get started, Air Signs. How you doing today? This is a daily read. Dang, cards already flying out. I'm going to do wordplay to kind of see what messages are coming from spirit. All right, now with these words, um, they're going to be random words. And if one of one of many of the words resonate with you, that's just spirit's way of saying to pay close attention to the message that I'm going to give to you today. Okay, that's all wordplay. All right, I'm here. Domino's Pizza. Eye of the Tiger. Tiger Eye Crystal. Kyanite Crystal. Warm water, vanilla ice cream, ice cream sandwich, steamed broccoli, obsolete. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to start with three today. All right, so... Your cup is not filled or doesn't seem filled. You don't feel wholesome. That's the right word. You don't feel wholesome in the decisions that you've been making recently, okay? I feel like your vision has been uh, severely um, altered or more so you're not able to see... You're not able to visualize into the future, okay? So that tells me that there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of angst around you, okay? I feel like you may have been put in a position where you are <clears throat> becoming like the spokesperson for your family, okay? So I feel like someone in your family has gotten sick. <clears throat> Something with the throat. Okay, so it's like either they're losing their voice or they can't speak up. Their voice is starting to become very, very low. But I feel like you're going to be the spokesperson or vice versa. Someone that you may know may be the spokesperson for this person, okay? And um, let me just clarify. This can be for anyone with ear placements, okay? Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra signs, all right? Um, in your sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Venus, uh, etc. etc. All right, so just basically just take this reading how it resonates because this is a collective reading, and literally, I'm just pulling from source, and this is just what I'm getting. All right, so take what resonates. This is someone, um, family member, could be a songstress as well, too, giving me feminine energy. But remember, we both have feminine masculines, like I said, take it how it resonates, but there's a feminine energy here. Um, that loves to sing and had to stop singing. Um, hearing Floetry is one of their favorite artists. All right. <laughs> Floetry. I'm also hearing Elton John. There's a couple of songs I like with Elton John. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else is going on. Every child try, try to flip the damn cards coming out. So the B card is here, okay? So it's like someone has to step down because doctors has told them that they can't work too hard as to what they used to do or be very strenuous in their job. So it could be a retirement as well, too. It could be a mom or grandmother that you're stepping up to help take care of, all right? Um, this feminine energy is like can no longer be of service to anyone. And with this pride card, um, let me just clarify that real quick. Clarify pride for me, please. Why is all the cards flying out today? Yeah, put an ending to the pride. Put it. Put an ending to not having pride. Put a ending to not having pride. Why would they? Uh, 
Okay, because it's okay to ask for help and it's like you are fighting the resistance for this rebirth. Okay, Re rebirth is in reverse and this is something um, that was happening for a while. I feel like this feminine energy knew what was going on but didn't say anything and it got to the point where it's just kind of getting out of control. Okay, okay, Lord. And I feel like that could be something with the speech as well, like a stuttering or maybe a speech impediment. Okay. So the cleanse card is here. So now it's time to cleanse yourself <clears throat> of any impurities. Um, it's okay to be open to this rebirth, okay? Allowing people to help you that love you, okay? Sensuality card is here as well too. Stepping more into that feminine essence that you carry, okay? Because I feel like you may have lost that part of yourself, okay? Or vice versa. They may have lost that part of themselves and they're starting to feel... Uh, like less sexy, all right, because there's a lot of like work that needs to be done or a lot of things that needs to be kinked out and like fixed, all right, so I'm hearing worrisome and tiresome as well, all right, keep hearing anxiety, all right, just take it one day at a time, this noose card is here, I don't know why, the, whoever made this damn deck, I don't like this, this, I don't like this, I don't, but anyways, um, this news card is here and it's basically saying, don't give yourself too much. Don't give too much of yourself to the point where you're like, ah, I can't, you know, you can't fake, you can't focus. You can't, uh, I'm here to fake the funk. Okay. So maybe you were faking the funk, um, in regards to the situation that was really going on at hand or the feminine energy was faking the funk as to what's been going on. All right. Um, I also feel like this was someone's dream, meaning, um, with the dream, it was in their dream state. They jumped about this a lot. So this was their dream. Okay. This is something that they, they jumped about a lot. So this is like a reoccurring dream. All right. <clears throat> the skull card, skull card is here to listen, to take heed and to allow people to assist you and help you get through this. Okay. Uh, this is not faded and it doesn't have to be okay. Anything can be changed. Energy can be changed at any given time. All right. I feel like someone has lost their voice to speak or their will to speak. So as I stated, the, the confidence, Leo represents confidence. And this person does not have any confidence because, you know, they're losing their voice in a permanent way or a permanent manner. All right. And this might be a specific reading. I don't know who it's for, but it's just, Spirit said, get it out. So I'm going to get it out. <laughs> I'm going to get it out. Ooh, let's clarify that real quick. Give me a second. Oh, come on, y'all. Please. Oh, God. Oh, y'all know. Oh, God damn, when I did not want that. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to give it. All right, so I have main female here. Ay, and I have coffin and I have white dress. So it seems like someone may pass away from cancer of the throat. Main female. Official person is going to come to you with paperwork that needs to be signed. So in regards to care, official person is giving me like a doctor in this instance, a doctor or a physician. All right. Someone may have to, uh, the occupation, they may have to step away from the occupation because they're going to be moving into more of a, like a family. They're going to be the lead of the family. So you're going to be taking over the responsibilities. All right, I feel like the, the house is, because of all of the news that's coming, okay, we haven't received this news yet, the house card represents that the foundation is not sturdy, it's going to be, the emotions are going to be very high, okay, <clears throat> courtship is going to suffer as well, too, if you are in a relationship, it is definitely going to suffer tremendously, and that's probably where the pride card is coming in, all right, <clears throat> A child is also going to be affected by this. Okay.
and that's coming soon in the distant horizons okay so a child is definitely going to be affected by this uh, let's see what else is going on okay you gotta make sure there's discipline like there is a a plan basically in regards to discipline look i <sighs> acceptance okay Learning to accept, you know, the issue at hand, just at hand, learning to accept it in the now, but definitely trying different ways to change what you've accepted. Okay, it's going to be some grief. I'm hearing hunger as well, too, so I feel like this person may not be able to eat. Someone's going to be in denial about this. Let me just clarify that real quick. All right. So someone is going to gift you with some ideas or knowledge around health to assist you, to help you. Okay, for your family member, for yourself. All right, and this is bad. Health is here as well, too. All right, so someone is going to gift you because they want to see that this person is in bad health and they want to give them something to get them back to good health, great health. <clears throat> someone of high honor. So it could be a doctor. It could be someone that's knowledgeable in the field, but someone is going to assist you. All right, so that's all I have for the air signs. I don't know what to name this. I don't know what to name this one. I've been tapping into some bizarre energies lately. Oh, let's call it uh, clear your throat chakra. No. I'll figure it out. So until next time, Aries signs, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you, want, if you would like to shop in my store or book a private reading, all the information is in the description box below. Until next time, peace.